Hello, this is Don McCoy with Flourish Leadership Group, where I ignite your leadership to the next level. I'm so excited you tuned in. I wanted to just share with you some exciting takeaways I have from the Arthur Ashe Boulevard dedication yesterday here in Richmond, Virginia, and it was quite exciting. If you're tuning in live, thanks so much. Type a one in the box so I can make sure that you can hear me. And if you're tuning in for the replay, type hashtag replay. I'm having some challenges with the lighting here today because I'm out in these streets. <laughs> But I wanted to still get a chance to talk with you about the exciting opportunity I had to be at the dedication ceremony. I'm going to actually post a video later on. I was honored to be there, humbled to be there. I had followed Arthur Ashe as a child and all of his accomplishments. And I wanted to just share with you what that meant. And most importantly, in a city such as Richmond, the history that is here, the 400 year celebration of bringing African people to this country uh, 400 years ago, the commemorative events this year in Virginia going on all year. And actually, coincidentally, a big uh, opportunity with congressional leaders locally and nationally to get together, a segment of the Congressional Black Caucus gathered. So there were leadership opportunities abound, and I was just really honored to be part of that. Arthur Ashe was pivotal, not only in his work that he did as contributing to being one of the first among many, in tennis and being able to break some of those barriers going on to Wimbledon. But he was very pivotal, obviously, in his legacy that he left, having some health challenges and then becoming an advocate. So he did not stop at having sort of the legacy of being a great tennis star and someone who rose up on the streets learning to play. But more importantly, he was someone who said he had to do more, giving back to his community, moving forward when he wasn't feeling well, uh, dedicated to capturing his legacy on camera, and I know coincidentally uh, his family and others seen to this momentous day of having a street dedicated in his name. Now, the irony is that the street he was named and replaced was Boulevard Boulevard. Yes, the boulevard. And so coincidentally, it was kind of like a street that may have been left blank, <laughs> waiting his his name to take place. And like I said, I'll be posting a video of some of what I captured from the event. I was able to connect with the current mayor while there and also a former mayor, um, both of them very pivotal in this part of history, being leaders in their own right, having both bookends, in my opinion, uh, the opportunity to one, to name an Arthur Ashe Center, and now the other the current mayor to name the Archer Ave Boulevard. So I thought it was really neat to see that there were great pivotal opportunities, lots of speaking opportunities. You can Google, and I may even put a link down here, but I wanted to talk about that being really tremendous at a time in history where we have a lot of challenges. I know I certainly had my trepidation about going downtown to all of the big events, knowing there may be some uh, police presence, there might have been protests or others, but there wasn't. It was quiet, it was peaceful. Tremendous outpouring of thousands. Um, the parking was not a challenge. Uh, people were respectful and engaging and collaborative. And it was wonderful to see as well. The Virginia Museum of Art and Culture opened up their doors for free and took on uh, people coming to the museum for the day. So of all, I wanted to just share with you about how we can learn from the legacy of those who lead in whatever tenure they are, not just in a position, but in their legacy leading on, um, obviously as Arthur Ashe transitioned, uh, from having health, diagnosed HIV, and other complications, and being able to still be able to be pivotal. And here we are, fast forward many years later, and the dedication of his boulevard, um, there's already a moment, monument um, erected, but this is a continuation of that legacy. So I want us to think of le leadership as not something that we just do, but it is something that lives on beyond what we do. So anyway, again, this is Don McCoy with Flourish Leadership Group, where I ignite your leadership to the next level. I'm so glad you tuned in. And certainly follow what I do at flourishleadership.com. And look forward to tuning in again next week, 8 p.m. Eastern, for Leadership Reflections. And follow me across social media at Don McCoy Books. Well, until we meet again, be enlightened, enriched, be empowered. Take care. Have a wonderful week.